Hey guys, we're gonna work on C minor today. Oh yes, I know you're looking forward to it. Three flats. All right, so I'm working out of this Mel Bay's Essential Scales and Studies for Violin Level One by Craig Duncan. And we're gonna be doing exercise number two. So this has a B flat, an E flat, and an A flat. So down here at the bottom, we're gonna play a low first finger on the D string, and then we're going to end up playing a low second finger on the A string, and we're gonna end up playing a low first finger on the A string, coming back down, low first finger on D string, a low second finger on the A string in third position. Anyways, so, in pure minor, remember, there are no changes. So the key signature stands on the way up and on the way back. In the melodic minor, the sixth and seventh steps, in this case, that's gonna be A flat and B flat, are raised going up but descending. They're going to be lowered. So whereas we had a B flat and an A flat going up, now we're gonna have an A natural and a B natural in every single octave. But then on the way back down, we lower them again back to their original flats are A flat and B flat. Okay, so this is the scale that I'm gonna be playing, but I wanted to explain that harmonic minor has a seventh step that's raised on the way up and on the way down, and then these arpeggios are awesome, and so are these arpeggiated thirds, so one of these days I'm gonna demonstrate those, but in the meantime, I would suggest to go ahead and try these because these things come in so handy when you're trying to improvise and a lot of Western music is made up of arpeggios and scales. So, here we go. Uh... 